Come in. Oh, you must be the newest applicant for the uh, new dad role. Hi, yes, that's me. Pleased to meet you. Well, sit down. Let's get started. <sighs> First off, why do you want to be a dad? Well, you know, I always thought it would be kind of great to have a kid. You know, seeing this little person grow up into a full adult would be a really wild ride. Wild ride? Sure. Well, this alarm is going to be going off every 30 seconds or so. We just want to see how you do when you're getting constantly interrupted while doing something important. You know, like this job interview or writing a script for your next video, for instance. Do you understand? Uh, sure. And we are off. Right, well, under previous experience, you've just written spending time with my nieces and nephews. Yes, my sister has three kids and I just love spending time with them. Okay, but what does spending time with them actually mean? Have you looked after them for more than three days consecutively? No. Have you taken them to the doctor? No. Have you put them to bed? No. Have you made a meal for them by yourself? No. Have you picked them up from school? No. Okay, so what you're really saying here is that you spend time with them at family gatherings, but as soon as it's time for anything other than fun ankle time, then you pass them off to their parents, right? Well, I did babysit all three of them for a whole afternoon. Oh, great. By yourself? Uh, no. My mom was there too. Right. Okay, uh, let's move on. And you should also get that. Oh, right, right. These are just some of the things that might happen on the job, so it's important that you know how to respond. Right, I'm, I'm ready. I am fairly certain that you aren't. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. So you wake up in the middle of the night to the sounds of your child crying. What do you do? I go check on her, obviously. Oh, so you decided to not sleep train your baby. Is that something I should do? Who knows? It really depends on whatever parenting book is most popular right now, but anyway. So you decide to go check on your baby. What are you checking for? Um, I check if she has a full nappy. It's not that. I check if she's hungry. It's not that. Maybe she has gas. It's not that. Oh, maybe something is really wrong. Maybe I should take her to the doctor right away. It's definitely not that. Okay, but then why is she crying? Look, a big part of this job is just being okay with the fact that for the first two years, you pretty much won't know exactly why your baby is crying most of the time. Like. Sometimes you'll make a lucky guess, but a lot of the time, babies just cry, man. Oh, jeesh. I didn't really know about all of... Okay, it's okay. Let's just move on. How many hours of sleep do you need per night? Well, I'm a pretty late riser, so somewhere between 8 and 10 hours per night. 8 to 10, eight to ten hours of sleep. You do realize that the average parent loses like 700 hours of sleep in the first year alone. So you're going to have to be a fully functioning adult on no more than eight hours. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad. A week. Eight hours of sleep. A week. Oh. Fine. Let's just finish this for both of our sakes. Let's talk about equipment. Do you have everything you need for the job? Well, I was thinking about getting a car seat soon. Yes, you will definitely need to get that. And a pram. And a baby carrier. And a bath and bibs and bottles and bottle warmers and dummies and more nappies than you think a human being would ever need in more than one lifetime. And of course you need toys for her bedroom and toys for the car and toys for the lounge. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is a lot. And that's just the start. You don't have any of the stuff yet. No, I don't. <sighs> okay, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, you are clearly completely not ready for this role. So what I suggest is that you go home you do some more prep, you study up, you gather that equipment together, and then come back in two years' time and you can reapply. Yeah, well, my wife's already pregnant, so now I really don't know what to do. Oh, your wife's pregnant. Okay, then, well, congratulations, Dad. You got the job. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. You just said that I clearly wasn't ready and now you're giving me the job. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're ready. You're just going to have to figure it out as you go along. You'll be fine. But all of those questions, and I, I have no real experience. Mm. 
Yeah, pretty much every dad is underprepared for the role. Like, for instance, did you have a good dad? Yeah, he was the best. Well, I can pretty much guarantee that he had no idea what he was doing when he first started. So, he'll be fine. Wait, really? Yeah, don't worry about it. You're going to do great. Wow, thank you so much. I'm, I'm actually really excited now. This is, this is going to be great. That's good. That's really, really good. Just as an aside though, you are okay with getting poo on your hands, right? What? Nothing. Good luck. Yo, what's up, buddy? Hey, that's my dad. <laughs>